It's the week when three years ago I found my intro and also created my outro. And today is my crush's birthday. It's a tough week today, isn't it? Why don't you give me your love? Maleficent Mistress of Evil is a sequel to 2014's live-action adaptation of the anti-hero Maleficent and this film is directed by Joachim Roening. The film tells the story of Aurora who is about to be having her uh, marriage with the lovely Prince uh, Philip. However, that leads Maleficent to have a different thoughts and now Aurora must uh, put aside their differences in between siding with Maleficent or having uh, a beautiful marriage as a war rages on. When I heard that there's going to be a sequel to 2014's Maleficent, I was not surprised that we're going to get this early release. But the fact is I'm happy because it's a sequel to a five-year-old movie. I like how there are sequels released five years after the first film. For example, the Lego Movie and then the Lego Movie 2, Godzilla, and then King of the Monsters, and Maleficent, and now this. However, you have the director of Parts of the Caribbean's Lazarus Revenge, which I have it on DVD, and I'm gonna be honest, I fall asleep during this movie. What I like about Maleficent is Angelina Jolie's portrayal as Maleficent. From the first film, she did a great job uh, bringing her role as the anti-villain Maleficent on how she's able to express a mean villain. But however, with this live-action adaptation, the film changed the lore a lot, and there are lots of changes that has done to this character. And now considering the sequel with her as a product of the market, this film, however, to me, is misleading. I was happy to see Angelina Jolie once again as Maleficent, but sadly we don't get to see much of her. When you watch the second trailer, this film is basically just everything in the trailer, but however, throughout like the whole film, the film just lacked in time. I mean, the film promises that it wants to be dark, but instead you get like a lighter tone while it's trying to be happy as in terms of being a PG film. Even there are some dead scenes in this film, they just have to cut away to the next scene because hey, this is a PG film. You want a dead scene, let's just move on. We just killed someone, move on to the next scene. And maybe there's a time where the dead scene was replaced with something else so instead of killing those people they're like they just punish them and then that's it that's the they, they just leave it on the cliffhanger i was expecting that the sequel would be as good as the first film but i was unsure i mean the first film was fine for me i owned it on dvd but for me the sequel feels like it it lacked a lot i mean for two hours and minus two minutes this film uh, feel like it it could have been uh, doing more the trailer showed us everything but it didn't show us as everything as possible the film marketed that it wanted to be a dark finale but it did not lack in that the film somewhat wasted time, whether they're supposed to be doing something, but instead we get to focus on something else. There's something about Angelina Jolie which I want to point out as being Maleficent. I'm happy that she's uh, still able to portray that uh, mean anti-villain role, but however, we don't get much of her. Now, the trailer also promises us that we're getting a backstory of her, of what her kind looks like, but instead, we just get to see her, you know, just wasting her time discovering that, and we don't have a scene where they're like, okay, there's a battle going on, we have to prepare for that, which we get that, like, until the third, final act of the film. Just like God's Looking of the Monster, this film did not focus more on the anti-film, but using her as the main product of the film. This film instead relies more on Aurora, on how she's about to have her marriage, and there's a scene where Aurora is like, well, she's just doing fine, and there's also a subplot between the uh, some of the Moors character, but they did not do much more, and then after that, they just stopped, and then we get to see the uh, Queen's um, antagonist role of what she's doing. If you side with Angelina Jolie from the beginning of the trailer, you already know who the villain is, and we're gonna get to that in a moment. I mean, Angelina Jolie, uh, continuing her, I still like her role in this film, but the problem is there's not much of her in this film until, like, the final act, but there are some moments that may be disappointing, like, they did some portrayals, at least, from the part of the film. They did bring back a few elements from the Sleeping Beauty film and they did not do much with this. Unfortunately, there's not much to Angelina Jolie's character that I could bring. But this uh, race here, played by Chihuahua AG4, whatever this fairy race here, well, I think we get to discover more of that, but however, they don't make it as exciting as possible. I mean, there's an origin and then that's it. Aurora, however, is like the biggest uh, focus of this film. Despite that Aurora is now having her uh, considered marriage with the beautiful Prince Philip, basically that's, all, uh, that's just about it. Aurora just spends her time in the uh, castle. But but however, Elephanting still portrays a great job with Aurora. And then we get Michelle Pafir, the, the, whoever, the guy who played uh, Janet Van Dyne. She is uh, she's the villain. If you side with Angelina Jolie from the trailer, you already know that she's going to be in the film. And seeing her, she's just too menacing. And even you already know that you already predict she's going to do something evil. You just want to see more of that. And you just want to try to prove that she is already a villain to make sure that she's the villain. And there you have it. She's, um, she's the villain of the story. It's already predictable. You can see of how menacing she already acts in this film. Even she also has a servant who's like, 
I don't want to be in this film, but I have to be serious for the sake of my majesty's service, so for the sake of the film, so the director could be proud of how I did with this film. Overall, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, I'm out of words. I sit my butt down on the, doing the film, and I'm like, I really wish that I could just go on as soon as possible as the film over. I mean, the finale was fine. There were some epic battles, but it was not as epic as I expected. Sad, the battle is just like in between the race of Maleficent and then the uh, the queens, um, what is it, King, Queen Ingrid, and that's just about it. And then basically final battle stuff and, you know, the rest. And then later there's a merge going on. I really wish I could like this movie more than the first film, but apparently I think I'm going to have to stick with the first film. This movie is overall fine, but it currently blasted by itself. I'm out of words for this. I'm going to say this, but Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, is a sequel that crashes down its own fairy tale lore. There's a scene when the character represent of what the author would look like if the author had a purpose on making Sleeping Beauty. It's an insult that the film finally did it. Oh my god, I'm out of words. Um, Loves and Mistress of Evil, I walked out quietly in this film, but overall this film was overall a little bit enjoyable, but at other times it's just disappointing to me. I just, this is probably not my favorite Disney film for today, for this year, but there's still more Disney films that I'm gonna have to look forward to. So that's it folks, that's my review on Loves and Mistress of Evil, that's all I can deliver have you seen what you think of the movie let me know in the comments below i am excited for terminator dark fate which i'll be seeing in two weeks and expect my review on that and by next week or maybe this week there's a video that i've been happy to working on and i can't wait to show it to you guys it's something that i've wanted to uh talked about in like these recent uh years but yeah that was my review on maleficent mistress of evil here's the outro that is all for this video if you do enjoy this video give it a like that would be very helpful and in the description you'll find two links so you can follow me on twitter Instagram and Google Plus. I appreciate you guys for watching this. I'll see you another time. Bye bye.